Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Happy hump day, everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So if you have to describe to uh, one of your peers, your coworkers, your friends, you know, what, what was 2020 like, right? Like what was trading in 2020 compared to, you know, maybe 2019, which was a, a really incredible year uh, for equity prices. But what, what stands out about 2020? Um, all you need to do is tell them two things. Expect the unexpected. That's number one. Uh, charts don't lie. Sometimes they don't tell the truth as well. Number two. And all you need to do is kind of show them the price action, what we saw uh, in Tesla for the last, it'll say in the last hour of the day. So if you look at Tesla, and we'll get into the very, very specific uh, pivot there in a second. If you look at Tesla, this thing literally swan dived 70 points off of a massive pivot, uh, which is a big, big move down. 70 points to the downside, followed by a 60 point bounce. In a nutshell, that is 2020. And the most amazing part is just when you think you have it wrapped up, I get it, right? I get it, I figured it out, right? Said no one ever. The only way you can have a clear view of this market and really try to explain it and break it down into like, to like a two-year-old, if you're literally smoking angel dust, right? If you're like on LSD, something, something that is taking your mind, alternating your complete warped sense of reality and try to explain it to like, like a dog, literally sit there and explain it to like a dog. That's what the sense is in the market. But again, at the end of the day, you know, we're not paid to think, okay? We are paid to, as I say every single day, collect data and react on that data. And if you look at the day, I came in yesterday, well, today's session, 100% sell biased, right? 100% sell biased. And the most amazing part was about today's session, the market closed at the highs, okay? But all the value was to the downside. Tesla, Facebook, Boeing, NIO. Yes, there was a couple of pivots to the upside that were very, very strong. Uh, ultimately, again, there's really great value, okay, including today. Today was a little bit more spread out, okay? But the most amazing part is you can still be completely, I mean, really completely on the other side of your thinking. You can still get that value on the side that you're looking at. And when you look at the scoreboard, you turn around and say, how the hell did all this happen? Again, welcome to 2020. Nothing needs to make sense. You're as good as your last trade. What you did three days ago, three hours ago means absolutely nothing. It's all about now. And when you look at this tape, and again, when and I say this, uh, you know, 5, 10, 20 years from now, okay, if we're all still alive and we're all still trading and have brain dead and not peeing ourselves in our pampers, right? We're going to look back at this market and say, wow, can you imagine all the people who just sat there on the sidelines complaining and moaning? and excuses, and this, and that. It's just amazing. You are missing. For those who are, again, cynics, um, for those who feel that this market uh, is completely beyond the, you know, beyond the, the realm of explanation, you're right. But again, to sit there on the sidelines, complain about it, there's nothing, you, you know, it's just a complete waste of time. Nobody cares, okay? Number one, nobody cares. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity in this market. Uh, even when you're wrong, you come in, with your thought process, you're still going to get really good plays as long as you wait for them, right? As long as you wait and as long as you don't, again, put yourself in a situation where you're not taking B and C and D level setups. And again, today was one of those sessions that, again, started out slow. We were waiting for the you know pull. We were waiting for the pull and we get the pull, right? The Dow goes from 
up 250 points to down 50, so we get the pull. The problem with that pull initially was, and, and again, I want to show you, you know, I want to show you the, the diamonds. I want to kind of show you the diamonds, what happened here. So here's here's a 60-minute view of the diamonds, right? So these are all the candles of the day. So the market gaps up 200, 250 points, gets stuffed into supply. So I'm thinking to myself, remember from last night's video? Inverted hammer, inverted hammer, inverted hammer, inverted hammer, sell, 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 sell. Yeah. Inverted hammer. Everything gets sold, right? What we, you know, I caught some Boeing this morning. I caught some Facebook this morning. Everything's all good. We're about to crash. We're about to crash. We're about to crash. The market goes like this, does literally like a U-turn, and right goes right back up. So, um, uh, just absolutely amazing market, uh, amazing strength. Um, you know, it really doesn't make a difference anymore uh, what you think is going to happen tomorrow. It's probably not, okay? Again, you have to be prepared for it. You can't trade stupid. You can't trade irresponsibly. But at the end of the day, there's going to be so much opportunity that's going to literally fall into your lap, and it's going to come out of nowhere. The backside moves are very, very aggressive. Obviously, a lot of names, uh, they did very, very well, continue to do well. Uh, you're still seeing incredible, really, really incredible call buying uh, especially names like Alibaba. Alibaba, uh, again, they're definitely positioning at the earnings. We saw uh, even September uh, $300 calls today. You know, very, very impressive. Uh, Netflix continues to see uh, 515, 510s, 520 calls coming in. Even when Tesla was was kind of starting even to make you know lower highs, we still started to see, we saw 1,500 calls as the stock was literally about to break down. So there is... An incredible amount of speculation money, and then you got all the names that are just sitting there, you know, just just incredible moves. You know, uh, Apple, uh, very very strong. Uh, Shop uh, continues to be a great, really great move. Again, nice res day today. Amazon, you started seeing today again, thirty one hundred, thirty two hundred, thirty four hundred dollar calls. Just just an absolute market. And again, the question is, what's going to finally derail it? Right, the government's ready. Uh, I think it came out last night and say, well, if the market, if the economy gets any worse, there is going to be, well, basically no specific terms. There's going to be more stimulus. So what's going to get this market down? Even if you're preparing for a pull day. And again, for me, I've been preparing for this pull, pull day for a couple of days just because, just because technically it's telling me so. And, and the most amazing part, if the exception to say there was actually some good value uh, on the downside, for the most part, this market is just absolutely amazing. Uh, buy anywhere, sell higher. George Costanza market that we talk about uh, every single day is making even the most novice trader, feeble-minded trader, inexperienced trader, FOMO masters traders, they're making them right because, again, the price action is so aggressive. Um, and this is one of those scenarios that, again, you just have to take it day by day. Uh, don't predict what's going to happen three, you know, three weeks from now. We don't know. Hell, we do not know. So it's very, very important. Again, create yourself a good game plan of stocks that are not overly aggressive uh, to the upside. Stocks are either resting or coming out of mid-level channels. Uh, and the moral of the story is, again, always think safety first. So let's talk about the day uh, again. Um, some crazy moves. So look, I mean, here, here's, you know, here's basically what I wrote pre-market. I go, look, I'm 100% sell biased. Uh, for today, so logically we're gapping up, but that was okay, right? That was okay. That's kind of what we discussed earlier. The Dow got stuffed, and as I got stuffed, and you know, the Dow actually gave up 300 points uh, very, very quickly. And I said, "Look, I'm giving the bears every opportunity to succeed in the first two candles." Again, the key is here: don't anticipate, right? Don't anticipate a move. Wait for confirmation. Just patiently waiting. So, first and foremost, congratulations to all you guys uh, who came in uh, short uh, AAL first time close yesterday. Uh, below twelve dollars again, not a not a monster move, but again, the point is, you know, a stock went down to eleven forty, and again, just like that, it reversed like everything else. But but again, this is a twelve dollar stock uh, versus something like Tesla. So here is the big move of, of the day: uh, Tesla thirteen sixty five. I actually put in a little bit more of a sneaky pivot, but uh, thirteen sixty five. If it builds below, can flush, right? So this was definitely. The biggest move of the day. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So here is the third, the 360. Right here is the, uh, uh, excuse me, the 1365. Here's the channel right over here, and it breaks down to the 1365, and it just gets murdered. It goes down all the way down to 311 before. Oh, by the way, rallying back 50, 60 points. So crazy, just absolute craziness. 
Uh, Amazon obviously never got down to the twenty nine ninety. Uh, Spotify never got you know ne never got down to the twenty three fifty two. It's actually actually broke out today again. Uh, ZM again, you know, not a bad move, not horrible. Uh, two sixty seven and again these these are the pivots: one to the upside, one to the downside. Uh, two sixty seven to the upside, two fifty eight to the downside. Again, not a you know not a crazy move, uh, but again gave some you know gave some cash flow. Here's the two sixty seven. You know. But gave a little pop here, uh, almost a two dollar move on ZM before uh, before Microsoft announced that they are going to some virtual video. Obviously affected a little bit of ZM, but not you know not a lot. So for all you guys who did take it, good job there. Uh, BYND no play there for today. Nothing there. Uh, Forty six eighty RCL touched it a little bit. Uh, never gave a second confirmation. Uh, J P Morgan macro any close again. So you can see here my thought process. I was literally putting in. Pivots to the downside. Uh, JP Morgan macro, uh, any close under 92 is next leg down. Uh, here was uh, JP Morgan, right? So you can see JP Morgan, you know, very, very strong chart, right? It takes out 92 for like two seconds, goes down to 91.80 and reverses. Again, shows you how how strong these bulls really, really are. Uh, win, nice move on win. Uh, 73 if it builds below, uh, can flush. Here was win. Right here is the 73, right? 73, 73, uh, went down to like 71 and change, 71 20s. Uh, NKLA, you know, th this is actually a nice move, guys. Congratulations for all you guys who did catch this uh, NKLA monster move. Remember, there was a pivot 57 a couple days ago, went down to 40 yesterday, uh, got upgraded today, 45, 70, 46, needs to reclaim. I thought this thing was going to get, I'll be honest with you, I thought this thing was going to get to 47, 47 and a half, okay? And I said, this is a, you know, POS. Uh, so just trade this thing for class. So I thought it was like two dollars, maybe you know, maybe two bucks in the trade. Yep, apparently not. Again, George Costanza market. Here's the 46, right? Here's the 46, and it went to 55. So if you held it, God bless. Uh, God bless. You're a better human being than I am. Uh, Facebook gave a trade uh, 237. I actually tr shorted it a little bit before the 237 area. Two, uh, 20, 237. 20s. I mean, I, nothing. I made a little less than 50 cents on it. Snap back. Some news came back up. I took half off just for cash flow. Uh, Boeing gave a nice move. Uh, 178.50, 178. If it builds below, can flush. Here was Boeing, right? So it takes out the 78.50. Basically, that was the low of yesterday. We talked about that. That was the low of yesterday. It went right down to this uh, 75 area uh, that we talked about. Nice move. Definitely a nice move on Boeing. So again, you can see. The value is definitely to the downside. Uh, again, take on the way, and this is what I meant about uh, this is what I meant about the sneaky pivot. There was a sneaky area here, uh, thirteen seventy eight. So I said thirteen seventy eight, very aggressive area for exp experienced traders. If it builds below, can flush again. Thirteen sixty five will be the big macro number. Again, huge huge move there. Uh, Roku, I still like, never got there. Uh, ZM take on the way, and, and I said I, I said look, I, I go and, and, I, and I said this before the poll on on Tesla. I said, look, for, for, for us to get any substantial moves, it's going to be to the downside. And, and that's kind of the, the name of the game. Patience and obviously the moves uh, came to the downside. Nice breakout on Marvel. Uh, we started seeing July uh, 3850 calls being traded. 3690, 37 needs to build. Nice move on Marvel. Really, really nice move. Um, yeah, nice move on Marvel, right? So here's the breakout, 3690, 37. Uh, close at the high of the day, 37.60s. Uh, nice little move there. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so take on the way up again. Futures are getting a little softer, and I kept on reiterating the point throughout the whole day. Still valid for experienced traders only. Uh, Facebook again. I took here is a, a monster move, guys. Congratulations for all you guys who did take this trade. Uh, NIO uh, 141014 is support. If it builds below, can flush. I thought there was a shot it could get down to 1250. Uh, it got murdered. I mean, really, really murdered. Here is the 12. Uh, here is the 1410. Right. So this pivot right here, 1412 is right here. And this candle before it really spiked down was the low was like 14.10. So once it broke that 14 level and started building, this thing got murdered all the way down to 12 bucks. So really great job uh, for all you guys that took NIO. Again, take on the way down and a nice really pull. Uh, 1350s cover some. And then I said, I turned around, I said, look, there's, there's obviously here, 1365 is huge now. Um, yeah, 12.65 next support went down to 12.50. And then here is the big wash, obviously, for Tesla, 12.47 next, 13.35 on deck. So it got absolutely, uh, absolutely murdered. So, again, you know, this is a, a great example. The last couple of days were a great example. Again, 
it's so important to have a thesis, uh, to have a bias, to wait for everything. But I'm telling you, with this type of range, with this type of environment, uh, again, you could be wrong all day, every day in your opinion coming into the market, as long as you are not stupid, right? Isn't that the best? Again, Meyer Hoffman told me the greatest piece of advice for all you guys who don't know who Meyer Hoffman is, Google him, right? The best piece of advice he ever taught me, okay, ever said to me, he said, Dan, I'm going to give you the greatest piece of advice forever, paraphrasing. Don't trade like a putz. That's it, in a nutshell. Don't trade like a putz. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, I promise you it's not a chicken. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Tomorrow should be interesting, right? Tomorrow should be interesting. Have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you on the field. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.